very talented. Several of the, the back, well, three of the four back players have now got good experience. It's in the midfield areas, isn't it, really, where you look and you, you possibly think Larsen Wenger, maybe a slight lack of experience, but so much confidence in his youngsters, hasn't he? Since he's been in the club, he's used this competition to blood so many of them. Very serious looking Arsenal manager. That suggests perhaps he's a little worried about uh, what lies ahead here. And Reading under the former Arsenal player, Brian McDermott, hoping to end a horrible sequence against Arsenal. This is their tenth meeting with them, and they have lost all of the previous nine. They're hoping to disturb them. And Morrison got out and it almost deflected in somehow between the defender on the line, the post and the goalkeeper. Arsenal managed to keep it out. That's Gunter. Header away by Koscielny. Jenkinson looking to deliver the cross. Well, Jenkinson claiming that he got a corner, but in the official's view, it touched Walcott last. Well, if, it, if, it, if it didn't take any kind of a deflection, it was a terrible cross, so clearly you... Robson can do Roberts! <laughs> Terrific start for Reading! And it's the old war horse himself, Jason Roberts! Well, if you're a young striker and you want to know how to lose a defender, lose your marker to get on the end of a cross, take a look at this, because at 33 years old, he uses all his nows, Jason Roberts, and he gets his reward. And Jay Tab, as it does really well there, feeds the ball out wide, but watch Roberts, faints like he's going to go near, goes in behind Koscielny, and he's left in front of goal. It's a wonderful cross, but it's wonderful movement that gets... Here he's worked it through well, Gunter tries to line it up, and it's gone in, it's an own goal! It's gone in off Lauren Koscielny! And Arsenal's despair compounded, but joy here for Reading, who lead them 2-0! Well, just like the first goal, they get in down the sides, they get in behind Arsenal, and they get into an area where they can put a real dangerous cross into the box. It's good, it's tight there, isn't it? But McCleary does well, Gunter finds space, and Koscielny, well, He's beyond the near post. He has to try and intercept it. And the only kind of contact that he can get that will send that ball in the net. He still have managed to get it clear. Here's Ledgerwood. And he looks for another strike at goal! And he's got it in! This is unreal! Three up inside 20 minutes! Mikel Ledgerwood scores for the second game in a row! Martinez finding his shot too hot to handle and despair for Arsene Wenger whose team are being ripped to shreds. Well they are. This is an absolute disaster for the young goalkeeper. Comes from a corner and it very much looks as if they've got that clear but that uh, sloppy Shamak that gives the ball. Here's Arshavin. And it's been that kind of night for Arsenal so far. Certainly has been that kind of a night. Almost stunned Arsene Wenger. But instead finds McCleary. Hunt! In off the post! Reading are running riot! Arsenal are being annihilated here! Well, Arsene Wenger's not happy. He's with the fourth official. He just feels like there should have been a foul given Arsenal's way in the lead up to that goal. Shamak was the player in the middle of all that. Lost the previous challenge, but that there. Maybe a little bit of a nudge in the back on Shamak. Not given. And look what happens. Again, Reading worked the ball wide, and this is where they've been absolutely lethal. Noel Hunt, a play. That was a nice touch from Coquelin. There's something in a break for Arsenal here, Shamak. Again, does it really test? Federici, not the most difficult save the goalkeeper's had to make. Very comfortable. What did he know? Here's our Shabin. 
And now the chance for Walcott to make an impact for Arsenal. And at last, something goes right for them right near the end of the half. Could that be the start of an improbable comeback? It needs to be the spark, doesn't it? It really does. And this is what you want to see more of from Theo Walcott. Gets himself in between defenders, onside, and once he's away, they're not going to catch him. And this is what I think he doesn't maybe get the credit he deserves for sometimes. In front of the goal, stays calm, and it's a really cool, calculated finish. Dinks it over, Federici. Tiny. Climbing again, and Robson Cannon's in there, and Martinez has to claw that one away. Well, I told you about Noel Hunt in the air, and anybody hasn't seen him prior to this season, most of his career in the championship. He's a little fella with a opportunity for them to break. It's Theo Walcott again. Oh, and between goalkeeper and post, it goes behind. I think it's Chris Gunter that shows determination. The right back as Walcott makes his run. Oh, he did really well. Well, only once before in the entire match as he had a 1v1 where he cut inside at the other end and unleashed a shot that got deflected, but this time... Looking for Marouane Shemak. Appeared to control that with his hands. Goes down in the area. Nothing given either way, and even though he's a team for the penalty, it's probably justice in the end for the fact he handled in the build-up anyway. He's going to take issue with him for his protestation. I, think, I don't think the referee can give this from where he is. Shema, does he get ahead? Walcott's corner, Jiris header! And talk about an instant impact! Arsenal really are motoring now. Wow, this is a fantastic header. I mean, the, the, the corner is hit with such pace. It's curling away from Giroud, but the way he redirects that pace, absolutely wonderful. Federici can't get across far enough to get enough on it to keep it out. That is a wonderful... Blocked by Morrison. Giroud onto it again and strikes again. It's come back, but fortunately for Federici, it's Nicky Shaw who's there to clear it. He has made a difference. Yeah, he has. He's in the mood, isn't he? And he's confident. And he believes that he can score from 30 yards. Taken by Arshavin. Shuri's header! And Federici tips it away crucially. Silly challenge. To be fair, Kasper's Gorks has done him a favour. Bent straight up. Not having... Shamak! Shiru is diving in, but couldn't quite get the touch he needed. He's been right in the thick of everything, hasn't he, since he's come on the pitch? How close is he? Very close is the answer. Shamak gets the flick on. Never going to score from there. And Giroud is on the move. Kossiolli! And the man who scored against Arsenal now scores for them. Arsenal are three quarters of the way to a famous comeback. Well, again, Brian McDermott won't be happy with the defending. Kaspers Gorks. It is. Challenges. Runs under the ball. That leaves Koscielny with a free header. Not going to miss from there. And I just wonder. I wonder. Headed out. Walker with a chance. And is it over? Yeah, that's over. It is now. It's been turned in, in the end by Jenkinson to make absolutely sure. To the assistant referee, I'm sure I saw daylight between the first effort. He did not raise his flag. I was astounded. It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now. But long hopeful ball, knocked down. Walcott, that's well over. The assistant referee, unobstructed view, has got to see that. It doesn't matter now. Trying to get Reading back in front. It's a great run from the Reading man, and it's saved by Martinez and cleared by Jenkinson. Well, it's been a thrilling game. Shamak just dragging it through for Olivier Giroud. Here's Arshavin. Marouane Shamak goes for goal and does it! Arsenal, who were 4-0 down, lead for the first time. And it's the forgotten man, Marouane Shamak, who has his name up in lights. Oh, looking down at Brian McDermott. Poor Brian McDermott.
McDermott. Just pacing around this technical area. Cannot believe what he's seen. Lovely build of play. Shamak it was that flicked that ball to Giroud and carried on. Oh, Shamin gets it back to Shamak. And how often do you see it? When a shot goes through a defender's legs. Goalkeeper unsighted. Late reacting. It's in the corner. And Shamak has given his team. And he's all the way through this time. Well, it would have been an argument with yeah. then if he'd scored the hat trick. Oh. Almost telegraphed to Adam Federici. Sure, he plays it in dangerously, and Martinez redeems himself with a fine save to possibly keep Arsenal in this. Oh, that is good goalkeeping. Did the flag go up? I think the flag did go up. He wasn't. Rakanov was in there waiting, but it's gone all the way across to Gunter. And the hit is in from Pogrebiak. Absolutely astonishing. Well, Arsenal arms are in the air. They want offside. They really want offside. They're not going to get it. Well, as you were. Deep cross. Arsenal just let it go all the way to the back of the post. And as that is struck well. Maybe level. And of course, all that the assistant referee can see is Lauren Koscielny's red shirt. You can't see the two blue shirts behind him. He's going to do it again. Giro looking to do it for them. And it's narrowly wide. Well, I looked at Adam Federici and he did not move. And I don't think it's because he thought... Stoppage time. Man in the box if he can get it across. And he has it off the line. Shots on follow up. And it's turned in. And surely this time, Theo Walcott... Won it. 11 goals on a mad night at the Badeski Stadium and Arsenal having seemingly been down and out once then take back again by Reading have surely hit now for the last time well this is about desire it's about drive it's about determination and Lauren Koscielny is the player who starts this off he's in the middle of your picture there the centre half he's busting the cup as have three four other Arsenal players to break there break quickly and the teammate cleared by Walcott and a missed header gives Shamak a chance to seal it once and for all for Arsenal here and he has so ends one of the most remarkable nights in League Cup history as Arsenal claim a seventh Arsene Wenger heads for the quarter-finals of this competition and he will wonder and many others will wonder how they've got there well Pure and simply, absolute and utter drive determined.